Now on Toledo News This Morning, authorized. The CDC approves Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine for kids ages 5 to 11. What this could mean ahead of the holiday season coming up. Plus, do the hustle. The Hero Hustle 5K kicks off this morning. A preview of this annual event straight ahead. And saving lives. How members of our community are coming together to learn CPR. Good Saturday morning, my name is Jaden Jefferson and welcome to Toledo News This Morning. We start with Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine, which was just approved for kids ages 5 to 11. This week, the CDC authorized the company's shop for kids ages 5 to 11, allowing young kids across the country to get vaccinated ahead of the holiday season. While some parents are rushing to vaccinate their kids, others are not. And that could be an issue as the holiday travel season kicks off this month. If you're looking to vaccinate your child, visit Get the Shot coronavirus.ohio.gov. It's going to be a mostly sunny Saturday with highs in the mid to upper 50s and lows in the upper 30s. Rain is unlikely. Now taking a look at traffic, Central Avenue at McCord Road will be closed for sewer work beginning today through Tuesday, November 9th for a project by the City of Sylvania. This week, the Toledo Lucas County Public Library was hit with a cyber attack, which resulted in no internet connection and computers that can't be accessed by visitors. The library says it's working to restore service to all of its computers, but adds that you can still check out books. At the Sanger Branch Library, where patrons normally fill computer banks, it was unusually quiet. Throughout the day, many came into the library to use the computers just to find out they're offline. Library employees, of course, explained the issue as best they could with the information they had. For the latest updates on this cyber attack, visit the library's Twitter or Facebook page. As the holiday season draws near, Metro Parks Lido has events for you to enjoy with family and friends. I spoke with Scott Carpenter of the Metro Parks for more. Well, I know you said that there were some events happening here at the Metro Parks Lido, so tell me a little bit about that. So for the holiday season, the big event is holidays at the Manor House, which is December 4th through 12th. And uh, you can sign up online for a time ticket and come in and enjoy for free uh, tours of the spectacularly decorated <laughs> house um, and all the work that our volunteers have been putting in for over a year planning and getting ready to, to, to turn this into a winter wonderland. So we're nearing the peak of the fall colors here in Northwest Ohio. So the Metro Parks are a great place to take up photography and get some photos of some of the amazing trees out here. So what do you think is the best time for people to get out and start doing some of that photography? We see? Man, I'll tell you right now is spectacular. I went out to Oak Openings yesterday morning, started my week there, and I had to get a quick picture for uh, for, for our communications purposes. I ended up spending a few hours out there because I just couldn't tear myself away from all the beautiful color. Um, it's finally arrived. You, you know, we're a couple weeks behind where we would typically be. We're in November and the, we're not even at peak yet. So uh, right now, this weekend should be a spectacular time to come out and take, take pictures and hopefully it lasts for the next uh, week or two. Happening today, the Hero Hustle 5K takes over the shops at Fallen Timbers to raise awareness regarding organ and tissue donation. The event is put on annually by Life Connection of Ohio, and organizers say it has led to many miraculous breakthroughs for those in need of an organ. You get to see, for example, double lung recipients who, when they were so sick pre-transplant, literally could not get out of bed, could not walk from one end of the room to another without being extremely out of breath. And here they are running and walking 5Ks and leading happy, healthy, active lives. The kids run kicks off at 8.30 this morning and the 5K run and walk begins at 9 a.m. Also happening today, the Toledo HBA is hosting its annual house and home show at the Seagate Center in downtown Toledo. The HBA describes the show as a one-stop shop for everything home, from a first-hand look at the latest and greatest products to expert advice, interactive displays, and more. We have so many of our vendors. They're just so excited to be back in person <laughs> to be able to do the show again and talk to people as well. The show's hours are today from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. To purchase tickets, visit ToledoHBA.com and view the events tab. Winterfest is back, which you can expect from the Toledo Walleye coming up. I'm Jaden Jefferson. I'm Jaden Jefferson. I'm Jaden Jefferson. Winterfest is back.
The Toledo Walleye will play two outdoor games at Fifth Third Field Sunday, December 26th and Friday, December 31st. On the 26th, the team will host the Kalamazoo Wings, and on the 31st, the team will host the Indy Fuel. Both games will take place at 6 p.m. To buy tickets, visit ToledoWalleye.com slash tickets. Members of our community are coming together to learn the basics of CPR. Hosted by multiple community leaders, the first annual Community CPR Initiative will take place today at the Scott High School Fieldhouse on Collingwood Boulevard in Toledo. The event begins at noon and wraps up at 5. That's all for the news this morning. Have a great day.